are the just in their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord, to be pondered by all who love them. Majestic and glorious his work, his justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders, the Lord is compassion and love. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his mind to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure. Standing firm forever and ever, they are made in uprightness and truth. He has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy his name to be feared. To fear the Lord is the first stage of wisdom. All who do so prove themselves wise. His praise shall last forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We must work the works of Him who sent He 
grants the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and he saves them. The Lord protects all who love him, but the wicked he will utterly destroy. Let me seek the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name forever for ages unending. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We know and believe that God is Blessed be our Father, who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began. To be holy and blameless in his sight, he predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So we measure be generous in God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed be our Father, who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. From St. Paul's letter to the Romans. <coughs> Greetings from Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart to proclaim the gospel of God, which he promised long ago to his prophets, as the Holy Scriptures record, the gospel concerning his Son. To all in Rome, beloved of God and called to holiness, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs>
St. Paul as apostle to preach the good news to the Gentiles. Let the word of salvation be proclaimed to all mankind. Thanksgiving for our brothers who are ordained, especially Sarah and Mary. <coughs> for the brothers who are preparing for ordination in August, <clears throat> for the COVID situation, especially in India, Asia, and parts of Africa, <clears throat> for our oblates, which are oblates friends and benefactors, for All Souls Parish, for Father Sam, and for Father Rick. Pray for David for his healing. For all those uh, who are ordained today, the blessings on them. You gave the keys of your kingdom into the hands of your holy church. Open the gates of that kingdom to all who trusted in your mercy while on earth. <laughs> Qui es in celis, sanctifice tuur nomen tuum, ardenia regnum tuum, fiat voluntas sua, sicul in celo et in terra. Pare nostrum quotidianum, da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicur et nos imidimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione, sed libera nos amalo. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord our God, that we may be sustained by the intercession of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, that th as through them you gave your church the foundations of her heavenly office, so through them you may help her to attain eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of Judah 39. So let me be the holy apostles Peter and Paul, martyred in Rome between 64 and 67. After his profession of faith, St. Peter was chosen by Christ, son of the living God, to be the foundation of his church. He was later confirmed in his office as pastor of Christ's flock, that is, after having expiated for his tribal denial by a tribal declaration of love. <clears throat> In the end, he suffered a cruel death like that of his divine master. St. Paul was a Roman citizen who was decapitated after having fulfilled, by word and letter, his mission as herald and teacher of the gospel throughout Asia Minor and Greece during 30 years. These two pillars of the church thus delivered to the eternal city their doctrine through bloodshed. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. Remember, the most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled that protection in the Lord of hell or saw their intercession was left unrelated. Inspired by the scoundrels, I fly to be a virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come before thee, I stand sinful and sorrow. 
O oh, Mother of the Word Incarnate, this despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen.